the Centrum in Worcester, Massachusetts, and we are getting ready for the qualifying round for the world's quickest and fastest indoor motorsports machines, the U.S. Hobbit Association Super Modified Mud Racers. That will bring up Detroit, Michigan's own Let's Boogie 1927 Ford T Roaster. On the brakes hard, and he'll stop it in time. And the crowd loves it. Our first official run of the event, and it's a beauty. The next driver, though, coming up is the one everybody is waiting to see. Jeff Acker, the supercharged, fuel-injected, 2,000-horsepower, Chevy-powered Ford Roaster called Insanity. An incredible run for Acker, trying to stop it. He'll coast to a stop well within the stopping distance requirements. A tremendous run. It looked like one of the best of the year. New England's own wild man of mud racing, Mike Spina. 2,000 horsepower in a four-wheel drive lightweight machine called the Psychotic Beast. Spina all over the place, sideways in the shutdown area and into the retaining wall. Well, if I had to guess, buddy, I'd say that on that particular run, it didn't look like you had any brakes at all. Now what happened is the, I think the master cylinder let go as I hit the brakes as they come across the line. And there was no stopping it at that speed. You saw that caterpillar and you started looking for other places to go, didn't you? Scared a little boy in the front row. Oh, now, hey, I'm sorry about scaring you, guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fans uh, had a rather unique view of the madman this time around. Folks, make some noise for New Hampshire's own Mike Spina. And here comes the driver that was the first out of New England ever to make a national impression. This is David Ray, the 1985 U.S. Hobbit Association Super Modified World Champion. An incredible run. Ray shuts it off early to stop in time. Look at this. Within three feet of a disqualification. But the elapsed time, 1.80 seconds will qualify him in the field. Well, here's the Mud Patrol card with new driver Paul Schaefer behind the wheel. Schaefer, an ex-dirt track stock car driver. Unbelievable wheel stand. Absolutely incredible launch. Simply the most incredible run we have seen in 1991. But here comes the killer. The three-time and defending world champion in the Camel Mud Racing Tour. This is Indiana's Tom Martin and the new Super Trooper. A great run. He shuts the engine down early, but 1.728 seconds. Another new track record. That has to tell you something. 172, that is the quickest you have ever gone in your life, and there was more left. That's right, you know, but we're worried about stopping. I got this car set up to leave hard. We can still back out early, and I think we can win it. 172, eight, new track record, and now three hundredths of a second away from the world record. You think you can get it? Well, I'm going to sure try. We're going to toast up the bottle a little bit. We'll get a little more in the finals. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, your new track record holder and number one qualifier, Tom Martin. And the Super Trooper. And here's Ohio's Chad Miller, the always wild instant T. A supercharged fuel injected Chevrolet inside an all fiberglass 1927 Ford Roadster body. The visor comes down and Miller's ready. And Miller shut the engine down way short of the finish line. Apparently, he anticipated problems stopping in the 80-foot allotted distance, but that it certainly was not the case. Here comes New Jersey's Rich Marcini, the naturally wired 1932 Chevy five-window coupe, a brand-new machine for a longtime campaigner in the supermodified ranks for 1991, a nitrous oxide-injected big-block Chevrolet using fuel injection and methanol fuel. Marcini's machine all over the course. He finally puts it sideways in the shutdown area, but he won't make it into the program. 2.03 seconds. And here's Mark Watros and the supercharged Ford Thunderbird Funny Car, sponsored by Rancho Shock Absorbers. It uses Ford Power, and it's the second quickest car in the world, a 1.71 second best. Rose takes down a finish line pole, and he will be disqualified on a 1.82 second run. And that will bring up Bill Bartlett, the moonlighting Ford Bronco that has been in this sport in the New England portion of the country for years.
The heavyweight Bronco, not a bad run, but not as quick as it could have been. The elapsed time, 2.19 seconds. Pulling up to the starting line now. The total obsession, supercharged Chevy-powered Ford Bronco out of the state of New Hampshire. And this machine has proven to be one of the wildest in New England over the last couple of seasons. Best known for some wheel-standing launches. Shuts off right at the finish line. The elapsed time for the total obsession. Ford Bronco, 2.11 seconds. Tom Martin leads the final four. We still have one of the wildest super modified mud racing wars yet to come, along with monster truck action. Don't you dare go away. We're back at the Oklahoma State Fairgrounds Arena with an update on driver Don Van Loo's condition. Believe it or not, the track paramedics have released him. They say he has no major or even minor injuries to speak of, although he'll probably be sore in the morning. And keep in mind, the spectators who had front row seats for that incredible impact received no injuries whatsoever. We're in the semi-final round after an unbelievable first round crash. The excitement, believe it or not, is still up there as the Bigfoot Ford pulls to the starting line, the number one qualifier, probably the most experienced driver on the tour, against the kid. The 19-year-old driver of Gary Cook's equalizer, young Greg Holbrook. And Holbrook is late and suffers problems. Look at Kramer going into the turn. He's got a huge advantage already. Unbelievable ability. But Bigfoot gets sideways in the air. It doesn't matter. Holbrook got crossed up heading for the crush cars. There is no way Kramer will lose this. He has to actually hit the brakes to stay away from the kid. All Holbrook has to do now is complete the course to make it an official semifinal round finish. But right now, Jim Kramer and the Bigfoot Ford looks unbeatable in this form of competition. Young Holbrook doesn't look real thrilled with the situation, but like I said, this course is definitely showing drivers their inabilities and their abilities, for that matter. That'll bring out Ron Dennis in John Moore's No Problem, Bronco in the other half of the semifinals to take on the 1990 Rookie of the Year in the Camel Monster Truck Series. The Fort Worth, Texas-based four-wheel crazy of Ron Morris. Morris actually getting some practice turns in just on his way to the starting line there. Ron Dennis has already proven his value as a whole shot artist on the starting line. Morris moves up. And the whole shot goes to the no problem team. The advantage over the first half straight. But now problems for the no problem Bronco. A tough break for Dennis who got sideways and almost went into the wall. There you can see Rob Morris has made up the difference on the other side of the course. They'll take the final turns, but it's going to be all blue forward on this one. Morris takes the win light and goes to the final round. In a showdown with Jim Kramer and the Bigfoot Ford. You can't fault Ron Dennis. He got a beautiful starting line launch and a huge advantage over his opponent. He just couldn't hold it in these extremely difficult turns. So Dennis heads into the pit area, a loser. But Rob Morris will start thrashing to prepare the four-wheel crazy machine for the Bigfoot Challenge here in Oklahoma City. In the meantime, we'll be back with more action, including the super-modified mud racing shootout. Don't go away.